Hello there. Welcome, everybody. Here we are. This is a little Zoom I wanted to do for you guys, a little video to present the syllabus and kind of just go over the course, a little bit of review for Geography 1. This is the Physical Geography Lecture. Um, so just so you know, there are two courses. I teach both. Um, you might be taking one with me and one with another person. That's totally fine. Credits are all the same either way. Um, but yeah, there's two courses. There's a lecture course and a lab course. FYI, the lecture course and the lab course are separate. Uh, you do need both courses. Uh, doesn't have to be at the same time, but you do need both courses if you are going to be transferring using the credits to transfer um, as part of the physical science um, requirement. Um, so welcome. Yeah, my name's Jeffrey and I will be your instructor for this wonderful semester. Um, been doing this for several years now and uh, you might notice a few things look differently. Uh, the room, my hair, who knows, um, you know, the videos that I have um, weren't all recorded uh, around this time. Actually, most of them were from a year or two ago. Um, so just FYI, that's why things might be the way they are. But for the most part, physical geography is the same, um, hasn't really changed a ton in the last couple of years. And so uh, the, the material is still relevant. Um, I might add some tweaks here and there, but just so you know, um, that's out there. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. I wanted to spend maybe 20 minutes or so of, on doing this and uh, I'll put it out. Um, obviously, if you're watching this, is on Canvas. So let's take some time. I'm going to share my screen and I just want to go over the syllabus, similar to like if we were sitting in class on the first day of school, uh, that kind of thing. This will help you guys kind of get a feel of what the class is all about and how to be successful in the course, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so we are looking at the physical geography lecture. This is a three unit course. Uh, that's me, Mr. Miller, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Miller, Professor Miller, something like that. Um, yeah, if you email me, this is my direct email through Chabot. I can usually respond a little bit faster on this one, um, but you can also use the the chat or the, I don't know what it is, a chat or text or something, email, messenger thing on Canvas. That's fine too. I'm not always on Canvas, so those might take a little while for me to respond, uh, but I do work in my office most days and we'll try to get back to you in a prompt manner um so anyways yeah email best way to get a get get in touch with me i don't have any phone number uh through the college um and i don't have any office at the college so everything i'm doing is remote meaning that you know you have to really take advantage of email and zoom uh to connect with me but you know like i said i'm here um and i mean i'll be available Sorry, this sun is really bothering me. I might not be available right at the exact moment you need, but uh, if you want to, we can certainly schedule private Zoom meetings, that kind of a thing. Um, I'm totally open to, you know, being available um, within reason, within kind of a, 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 a reasonable time frame. Scheduling things is important to me, you know, put it on the calendar, let's stick to it. So this course is a virtual course. Um, <clears throat> and it's asynchronous. And so hopefully you've been around this before. Uh, quickly, what that means is just that there's no Zoom. There's no there's no actual class um, where you show up somewhere and I'm talking to you. Um, so good and bad. I mean, you know, you don't get the live experience to ask me questions or talk to talk to your peers kind of a thing, um, obviously. But, you know, being asynchronous, the real advantage is that you can kind of do this class at your own pace. Um, and what my style is, is to post videos similar to this um, related to the material. So you can go in, you could watch the videos, you can watch a third of the video, stop, go to work, watch the next half. I mean, I think you kind of understand where I'm going with this. Um, some people are, are, are still kind of freaked out by what it means to take an online course, but like likely the case if you don't like online you're probably not here in the first place um so yeah it's self it's self-paced in that 
regard. I mean, there is deadlines um, and due dates to um, the assignments. Actually, every single week, there's something due except for spring break. Um, so yeah, in that case, you know, like I said, self-paced for you to view the content, but you do have to turn things in by their scheduled time frame. Um, and I'm going to go over those momentarily here. Um, I do have a, this little office out here. I, I send out a note. Uh, what to, what's today? Today's 31st of January. I sent out a note a little while ago, uh, announcement. Pay attention to those because I, I usually send about one a week or so. Um, but yeah, I sent out a note that for the first, let's just say month or so, I've just got a ton of commitments where I can't kind of set aside a weekly time frame. My intention is though, um, after starting on the 21st of February to make the block of 3 p.m. on Tuesdays available to you guys. Um, and so that's also for my lab course. You'll probably watch that and see that and be like, oh, it's the same time if you're in both courses. Um, that's fine. You know, oh, that this is an open hour, again, starting on the um, uh, 21st of February throughout therein. Um, there might be a time or two where I have to cancel it or say, hey, it's it's a by appointment only kind of a thing, you know, whatever. Uh, just get, a, get in touch with me and we'll, we'll, we'll set some time aside, I promise, okay? Um, I do want you guys to get this book here, this textbook called Physical Geography, the Global Environment, the fifth edition. Um, it's a pretty book, has some kind of mountains and mountain range in the background and, um, it's not too too expensive. They should have them in the bookstore. Amazon is very popular used in this type of course. So um, shouldn't have too much problems getting a hold of that. Um, as far as text is con the text is concerned, um, you know, the way this course kind of runs is I pulled. So what I did is I I went through the book, this text, front and back, you know, several times and kind of develop the course based on that. So um, I'm gonna give you guys several uh, pieces of content to, to help you be successful in the course, but I still want you to read the book because it really helps fill in a lot of the gaps where I can't just give you like hours and hours and hours, dozens of hours a week of, of, of stuff. It's just too much content. So the text helps to reinforce the concepts and really kind of bring things together. So I do want you guys to get the text, you know, for those reasons. And I mean, you know, let's talk about why we're here, right? What is this course? It's about the earth. It's about the dynamics of the earth, the physical systems, the earth, the, the the sun, the moon, the the climate, the the mountains, the rivers, the weather, the physical mother nature stuff. This is like mother nature 101 course. Okay. Um, a really cool thing about this class. Um, I mean, it falls within the sciences, right? So this is a natural science. So whether you're going to be in that type of major or not, um, you know, you may be your business accounting, I don't know, nursing doesn't matter to me. Um, but what's cool about this class is that you will walk away, uh, taking various nuggets that hopefully you can kind of use for later on in your life. And what I mean by that, I mean, all college courses should strive for something like this, but this class is very kind of universal in the sense that like anybody, regardless of what your background, your intentions, where you're going in life, anybody that takes this class can learn several things that will be useful to them in their day-to-day -day life. So, you know, Maybe you didn't really think about why did we have so much rain, uh, rain, wind, snow, blah, 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 you know, uh, over this past uh, winter season. It's just just kind of happened, which is true. There is definitely some randomness um, to the to the weather and, and, the, and not so much the climate, but the weather. Um, but at the same time, there's also kind of these scientific rules behind that. And and um, we can kind of learn to answer a lot of the reasons why things are the way they are in your, like I said, day-to-day -day life, the weather, you're going on a trip, maybe you have to drive over the mountains, look around the landscape. What does that kind of, why, did, why does the landscape look the way it is, right? Um, those kind of things. So I kind of like to put it out there like that and hopefully um, 
you know, like I said, I don't expect the non uh, science people to all of a sudden be converted from taking this course. It's a general ed, I get it. But um, I'm hopeful that you'll be able to kind of walk away saying like, wow, I really learned some 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 useful stuff here. Um, cool. All right. So yeah, I'm not a word for word kind of guy. Let's just kind of keep going. Objectives. This kind of, it covers the exact same thing I just said um, with, with fancier language. Um, but yeah, what I want you guys to do is you can, you can view this too, right? Right on Canvas. So take a look at it, kind of uh, get a sense of exactly the type of things that we're going to be learning over the next several months. Um, natural science. That's what this is. The mother nature course. Um, okay. So ba -ba -ba, critically identify contrast. I mean, we'll get into a little bit of um, technical. These are all technical terms related to geography. We'll get into some technology stuff too. There's a little blips of it here and there. Um, rock types, that should be a space. Um, but this is environment. This is an environment class. So if you like the environment, if you're interested in the environment, um, anything related to, to, to natural environment, like I said, this is like mother nature, man. This is what you're gonna be doing here. Um, so as far as the attendance is concerned, I mean, there is, none. I don't know how to really kind of classify this because it's such a different way than, you know, in person you sit there kind of a thing. And I didn't even take attendance back in those days either. But, um, you know, the thing with the, the thing with this, uh, you know, if you fall off the earth and you don't do any of the assignments and you don't respond to my messages or you don't engage in any way possible, shape or form, I'm going to assume that you just aren't here anymore. Now, I don't actively drop students um, as the course has moved forward. There is a point where um, within the first couple of weeks that I am required to kind of check in and say, like, are you still in this class or not kind of a thing. So, you you know, if you don't do anything for the first several weeks, you'll probably get a note from me saying, like, I'm going to drop you just so you know. Right. Um but yeah, other than that, there's no attendance um, because because we because it's asynchronous. So, so to me, your attendance is you doing the work and doing it on time and engaging actively. And we have discussions that I want you guys to 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 work on every week. So that's really, you know, your attendance summed up there. Um, the office hours, like I said, that's 100% on you and voluntary. Certainly, I encourage you to to come and talk to me and meet me and. Even if it's not about the class, tell tell me about your life. Tell me about what you're wanting to study, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so uh, I'll cover this stuff. Uh, I'll just kind of briefly. Let's see, the videos, like I said, they're they're the content, the video, the lectures are pre-recorded. Um, they're on YouTube. Um, uh, but through Canvas, right? So you just, everything's on Canvas. So you just go there. It's all there for you. Um, I'm also going to share with you guys what are called uh, key points. Uh, those are like my cliff notes. And then uh, PowerPoints, uh, PowerPoint slides. Um, you can download all this stuff every week. Uh, you know, week, week by week, things will open up to you and you can just download this stuff and look at it at your own pace. The other thing about that too, by the way, is since we do have exams, um, uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Yeah, there's three. Oh, I need to, this is a typo too. There's two midterm exams and one final exam. So, um, yeah, when it comes to the exams, right, this is asynchronous online, obviously, um, your exams will open up and you'll have the entire week to complete an exam. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm giving you you know, however many hours that is to work on the exam. No, once you start the exam, you have three hours to finish it, but you don't have to start it until really you say go within the week's time window. Um, so, you know, the expectation is that you have been learning the material over the several weeks leading up to the exam. Um, maybe you've downloaded some of the material, maybe you've downloaded all of the material, you have your textbook, you've got things right there in front of you. So, I mean, this is like right, right there. It's all, it's all there. You, you, there's really not a lot of excuse to, 
I guess do do really badly. I, the only times I see students uh, struggle is is if they just don't kind of study, if they don't do the work. So, um, and then they just go into the exam, the exam blind and thinking they can, yeah, I mean, there's always going to be people like that, I guess. But anyways, um, as far as exams are concerned, um, there's two midterms, there is a final, the final's big, okay, this is a lot of points, this is almost half the points of the course, it's about a third of the, about a third, right, but don't be scared, it's not like you're going to get if, if you don't do it at all, obviously that would drop your grade significantly. But, um, you know, most students average, you know, these in this class. Um, now, the other thing, too, is that there are participation. Your participation is going to come in the form of discussions um, every week. There are only five points a piece, which which is, is not a lot, but it, they do add up. And so if you miss two, three, four, whatever it is. Uh, that could be a, an entire grade that gets dropped, you know, from an A to a B, B, C, whatever. Um, so stay on top of it every week. Um, I'm not asking too much. I really don't think so to have you guys, you know, engage, engage with me and with each other. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. The grades are straightforward as can be. I don't have any curves. I don't have any kind of, I don't know, that stuff just, I, I just don't do it. It, it, it It's, to me, it's black and white. You earn this many points, you get this type of grade. Keep it simple, man. That's the way I do things. Um, okay, so there you go. Um, if you have special needs, um, a note taker, that kind of a thing, um, certainly, you know, email me and, uh, and I'll help you do whatever I can to add, give you extra time or whatever the accommodation is required, but I got to know, just let, you know, speak to me privately about that. Um, you know, these things are all coming directly from the, um, Shua website. So it's pretty straightforward, you know, as far as cheating is concerned, concerned, here's the thing. There will be some questions that are essay questions where I want you to really write out the discussions obviously should be your words and your words only. This has only happened a handful of times, but it's so obvious. I can't even express to you how easy it is to find. But sometimes students will copy and paste either each other's work or work directly from Wikipedia or that kind of thing. And it's just like, no, that doesn't work, right? That that's not how that's not how this goes. That's not demonstrating that you've learned that you've learned the material. So um, you know let's stay away from that stuff. Um, if I see it, obviously I'm going to point it out and you'll just lose the grades. Um, really it's kind of a one warning thing. Um, but I, it happens so rarely that I, I haven't really had to address it too much. I hope it doesn't be a case here either. Okay. Um, let's keep going. We do have other special programs uh, at the college. So I just encourage you guys to look through all these. Here's the links for each one. Pace. Uh, this is a Pace class. Um, some of you guys are in here. Some of you in here are, are are Pace students, which is great. There's a thing called Learning Connection that's in the library. There's so many different, you know, resources available to you. So I just really encourage you guys to to look through all these things: academic counseling, financial aid, all all here to to encourage you to to be successful uh, at the college. So, moving on. Let's take a look at the actual course itself. Da, 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 da. Okay. So this is what Canvas is going to look like for you. Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, so basically you come in and I don't have any splashy kind of like extra components to my homepage. My home and my modules is the exact same thing. So you can either click one or the other and it'll take you back to the same place. It's the content. That's what matters to me. Um, but yeah, things are broken up here. This course information, that'll be your first little blip of, you know, information about, uh, you know, where, where, do, where, what do I do in this class kind of a thing. Uh, like I said, after the 21st, this will change, this will be open. I should, I should close that off now because I'm thinking about it. I'm going to do that now. Um, let's just do this. I'll say by appointment only. Oops.
Okay. So we'll do that. Okay. And that'll be the link for you to go to an office hour if I, you know, if, if we schedule something together. Um, so yeah, the way this is laid out, I try to make it, you know, very straightforward, um, broken down into modules. Every module is its own uh, chapter or maybe two chapters. Some of them have two chapters. Um, so there is, and this is a late start. So things are a little bit more condensed here. Although, like I said, I don't think it's shouldn't be too overwhelming for you. We're, we're only a couple weeks kind of, you know, hours built into what we have existing. Um, so basically, every time you see um, the heading for a module, uh, there'll be a date and then a title. And so all of these days, except for this one here, all of these fall on a Monday. So Monday the 30th, but, uh, Monday the 6th. This is Tuesday because Monday here is President's Day, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So expect that the modules will open for you. Um, as you see here, we'll unlock 6, 6, uh, 21, 21. So on those days, as they're outlined, that's when the content will come out for you to check it out and work on it. Um, but it's meant to be a week by week thing. You know, you do the work for that week and then move on or, or wait for the next one to come, right? Do other stuff, whatever it is you have to do. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, every module, I have a little kind of introduction page. If we check out unit one, this one's so short. It's really, really simple. Um, welcome to the first module, um, asynchronous, you know, these redundant information, but this is what I want you guys to take away from here. Here's the learning objective to understand why things are located the way they are, know the importance, you know, and this will get a little bit denser as you go through the class. So you can look at it that way. You can either kind of click through here. Um, I'm not really a fan of that, just as a student myself. I kind of bounce back and forth to the modules page, and then I don't know why. It's just my preference, but um, kind of get a, maybe I like to just see what's ahead of me, I guess, before I jump right in. But anyways, yeah, you'll notice that things are organized almost the exact same way every single time. Uh, here's a video lecture. Um, you don't have to necessarily do these in sequence, but here's a video lecture. Here's the key points. Uh, if I click on the key points. Um, so here's the document. Here's the, the document for that. And again, this is a very short one. Uh, after unit one, they're going to get a little bit longer, right? Two to, two to three pages, potentially. But um, yeah, this is, like I said, my notes here. Um, let me back up and show you one from week two. This is the only week right here on 2.6 where I give you guys two weeks to work on this material because there's units two and three. It's just kind of the way things played out um, that this is some dense, dense material. So, you know, get through this challenge initially and then it's going to be, you know, the, 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 this is why I'm giving you, like I said, two whole weeks to finish this work. But anyways, um, if I look at the key points for units two and three, I'm trying to find the where they have some little bolded text. What I would do is I would look over the, the key points here. Maybe download it. I don't know what's going to be faster. This seems to be lagging a little bit. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. So you could do that. And then oh, that's weird. I don't know why I don't have. Hmm. Let's try a different a different one. Let's go back. Let's go to this one here, Earth Sun relationship, key points four, key points five. Sometimes they're in the same document, sometimes they're separated. Um, it's just kind of the way I, I, I built it out. There's no specific rhymes or reasons why. Okay, ah, here we go. Okay. So when you run into key points like this and you start to see these little bolded uh, numbers like this, what I'm trying to tell you is these are call outs for your slides. So rather than, let's get rid of this, rather than uh, look through 
the entire, let me rearrange things, boom, boom, okay. Rather than look through the entire set of slides, uh, and these all come from the author of the book. So there's some pretty dense, when I say dense, I just mean like the volume of material. And it's a, a bit redundant. Um, uh, what I mean is you don't, it's good to review it, but it's not, it's not, not every single thing in the slides is what you're going to be tested on. Okay. Key points, other story. Your key points are definitely going to be part of what your, your test, uh, you know, what your test material is, comes from these, these here. But for the slides, it's helpful, and some of them are out of order, obviously, but for the slides, it's helpful to say, oh, you know, Earth spins on its axis, rotates uh, in one full day. This creates day versus night. Well, what are you talking about? Slide 18. So rather than look through every single slide, if we just go all the way down to slide 18, you'll see what I'm talking about. I really tried to go through and highlight the graphical pieces of the slides, the slides themselves. Um, and I think that those are the most useful, the best way to use the slides. So here's 14, right? And then it's talking about tilted at an angle. Oh yeah, what's it talking about? Well, there you go, right? So it's really there to kind of give you more visuals as opposed to be verbatim. This is what you have to learn directly from the slides, okay? Go to key points first. So video, key points, slides. I would do it, I would do things in those, in that type of order. Um, and that's how you're going to, you know, learn the material every week. And then what I'm expecting you guys to do is go in here uh, to a discussion right here. So this is going to be your weekly participation, your check-in, how you're going to get points every single week. You go in here to the discussion. Notice that this one is due on February 5th, February 5th. That is on a Sunday. All of the assignments will be on Sundays. You'll notice if you go to your calendar, you should see everything populated from my course now showing up Sunday, 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 Sunday. Like those are when the do, those are when even the exams, those are when assignments are going to be due for you guys. Um, so here we go. Let's see discussion. Yeah. And you've already noticed that uh, a couple students have started to uh, make little comments and these are perfectly fine, right? This, the amount here, I would, I would want a little bit more here, but you know, uh, at the same time, I didn't ask for a ton at the starting point. I think what Leslie did with you know four sentences or so is perfect. Is perfect. That's what I'm looking for as far as you know. Um, your your that's the expectation from from me to see that you've done that, and and you're answering this question here, this prompt at the top. Um, that's what you're meant to do. When you come here, after you fill that out, you'll get, uh, I'll, I'll go through and do the grades. And if it's satisfactory, you know, you'll get a five out of five. So um, that's the expectation every single week. And then we will get down to like at the end of February, you've got exam one. Um, again, this is going to be a hundred points. The exams, they're all done here on Canvas too, right? Um, exams are between 15 to 20 questions. Um, I have right here exam details. So this should kind of give you a little bit of a guide. I don't do study guides. I feel like there's so much information and material out there anyways that you can download at your leisure um, from me that it's it's really, it's there anyways. But like I said, this uh, these information here are meant to kind of demonstrate to you and and give you a clue to say oh these are the types of things i should be learning and know and understand that's why the you know know the following understand these concepts um so i'll have that for every single exam i'm kind of blabbering on now at this point i feel like this video is getting a little long in the tooth but um so just to be clear one midterm here one midterm here on at the end of march then we have the spring break where I don't give you guys any assignments at all. Take it for a break as it's supposed to be. Um, then you come back and kind of close out the course with, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five modules. So at the end, there's a little bit more material because there's three modules, three modules, and then five modules. 
So this final exam is worth more points. Uh, I've got it at 180 something points right here. Um, but, you know, again, it's just more material. And once you get into the rhythm and the routine of taking this class, it shouldn't be too, too difficult. Really, I don't think so. Just as long as you stay on top of it every week, um, you know, I think you'll be successful. Okie dokie. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, not too much really other than that to cover syllabus and this video. You understand what to do on Canvas now. Like I said, reach out to me if you need me. Um, office hour by appointment in this first couple, in this first like several weeks. But then we will hopefully move on to a, a regular time after that. All right. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the class. Uh, maybe meet you someday out there. Reach out anytime and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Bye for now.